Hello everyone, uh, this is uh, Voxel Tycoon, uh, Charlestown. Now, uh, last time around, uh, I did a whole bunch of stuff, I don't remember what it was, because, well, why would I remember what it was? Anyway, uh, I came to the conclusion, I believe, at the end of the, uh, the... Oh, come on, unpause, there we go. Uh, uh, at the previous episode that I need to uh, increase steel production. And, um, yeah. Uh, that uh, does seem like the thing to do, so I'm going to do that uh, this time around here. Okay, good, right, yes. Well, that means I need smelters, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to shove them in. Uh, just like... Um, oh, yay, if you heard that, uh, got wonderful... Um, um, what you call it? Uh, traffic noise. Uh, anyway, uh, we need to uh, make steel bars, right? Click on it. Steel bar. Steel bar. Yep. Okay. Right. Yes. Now, what what else do I need? I need to put conveyors in. Yes. Yeah. But I need to. Uh, de um de stub these yeah i didn't really need to de stub everything quite that thoroughly but i did it right okay okay first up nope uh we need to connect the inputs and the outputs uh, really? Good. And then need to connect this. Uh, oh, come on. Do this. And then this. Yep. Uh, yeah, that, you, you know, you, you think you're all fire clever, don't you? Well, not really. Uh, good. Right. And then, uh, this needs to come up this way. Yep. Uh, now, uh, you need your coal in there, too. Uh, so that means I need to do this. And this. <clears throat> good. Uh, now we need to go back in here. Because uh, I could have done that. Oh, I still didn't do everything I needed to do there. Uh, okay, good. Come on. You go like that. You go like that. I did not do all of the stuff I needed to do. Right. I need this. And we come along here. Good. Right, that should allow everything to uh, work. Good. Now we do this tunnel level bang. Tunnel level. What? Um, go here to here. Tunnel level. Good. And then here. Tunnel level. Good. Go like this. Okay, now you you realize you need to uh, put those all facing the right direction. Yeah. I kind of do. Yeah. Okay. That's going in. That's going in. That's going in. That's going in. That's uh, going in, that's going in. That needs to go this way. See, there we go. There's one of the bugs with conveyors at uh, junctions. Uh, not much we can do about that. It would be nice if we could, but we can't. But this will uh, ultimately... There we go. OK, 
Okay, so this uh, conveyors need to fill up, and then these uh, um, outputs will uh, start to fill up. Right. So steel production is slow. Uh, and that's uh, one of the, the reasons that I set up a different set of inputs for iron bar production for the steel mill compared to the like to the steel uh, production compared to the uh, uh, the um, what you call it right the uh, regular iron bar uh, thing which is feeding into these now I could potentially uh, steal uh, some of the some of the um, uh, iron bars out of here and uh, feed them in here as well uh, but I don't think I'm going to because once the these uh, belts back up to maximum capacity uh, then the uh, this part here will uh, come closer to catching up. Uh, although I may need to add uh, a couple more of... Uh... Oh, I see. There is a thing I need to do here. Yeah, that will help. Yeah, I had uh, an output that wasn't putting output, so... Uh, yeah, that uh, so this uh, throughput here was uh, about 12% lower than it should have been. Right, okay, so you see this these conveyors have backed up. Um, but see, this particular bug is really annoying. But, uh, but as you can see, uh, these things really are going coming close to... Uh, catching up I might need I think I might need another set of smelters there uh, I might um, uh, yeah I might uh, hard to say because we're still um, we're still working on uh, uh, filling up the uh, warehouse here and that of course is uh, is going to uh, take a moment and then this belt needs to fill up and once that happens then the uh, throughput from these will then match the actual uses usage throughput right so um, yeah so there's a reason. So you can see now the reason why I set up this uh, large um, uh, operation here for uh, for the uh, ironworks, right? Uh, it's because I was going to need a massive amount of iron production. Okay. Well, the iron input is doing okay. Looks like uh, the coal input's doing fine with the trucks. So uh, there's that. Uh, we are slowly building up our uh, steel uh, steel bars here. Uh, I haven't decided um, what I'm going to do. If I'm going to, I could put in here a couple of presses to make steel beams. And I might do that. Um, uh, I don't, do I have, um, I don't have the, yeah, I don't have the, uh, tech for that yet. Um, what am I, uh, researching? Uh, diesel engine, woodworking, electronics, uh, what, uh, what produces, or is it, um, Reinforced concrete. Uh, no, it's steel beams, I think. This is... Um, yeah, so that's going to be steel beams. So I might as well just set that. Now let's um, 
Let's go look here in factories. Uh, press. Now, if I stick a press here and then take a look, yeah, we don't have, uh, we don't have the tech. Okay. Good. Okay, yep, see, we're now, uh, backing up the belt here. And that's, uh, that's good. Uh, that's getting, uh, getting stuff, uh, queued up. Uh, this here is, uh, partially caught up as well. So that's a good sign. Okay, so hopefully this whole affair here uh, can get um, get fully caught up. Uh, well, it should. Uh, okay, we're almost back to the first batch of smelters here. So there's that. So that's uh, something that, you know, it might not be obvious, but um, the uh, the conveyor belts between things uh, are also a form of uh, storage. Um, if I take that out, yeah, I didn't do that quite the way uh, the way I probably intended, but you know what? It's fine. Uh, okay, so this batch is almost uh, backed up to the smelters, and uh, yeah, so we're doing we're doing okay there. Now here we do have uh, bars that are going somewhere, so it's not like uh, this is completely pointless. Okay. Though I don't see any uh, trucks arriving, which means they're uh, they're off doing whatever it is they're doing. Okay, so if I up the tempo on this, uh, let's see uh, how fast this uh, this can get uh, filled in. Good. Um, good for you. Okay, yeah, so these have, uh, have, uh, fully, uh, backed up now. And that means these, uh, smelters can catch up. There we go. And now it's a question of, uh, whatever is demanding the steel, uh, which I think is maybe the research because I don't see any trucks coming here. Yeah, I don't see any... Uh... Charlestown transfer. Where is that? Okay, ah! Okay. Uh, right. Okay. You go here. You go here. You go here. And you go here. Okay, now that we've untraffic jammed all of that, good. Uh, okay. Do we have anywhere that actually demands steel bars? I don't think we do. No. No.
No, we don't have anywhere actually demanding steel bars. Okay. Well, now that we've got this unjammed, well, that's going to help a few things, I think. Okay, so we're not actually demanding anything there. Um, let's check in on the research. Good. Um, 25 of 70 for woodworking too. Um, we're at uh, 14 of 55 for diesel engine too. And we're at 10 of 55 for electronics production too. Good. Okay. So that's uh, moving up the... Uh, the scheme of of everything here uh, that does look great all of this uh, all of the, these vehicles whizzing about doesn't it um, I see Charlestown is working on some sort of um, expansion affair here uh, so what I'm gonna do uh, let's uh, down tempo this I am going to fill in this here uh, lake a bit um, do this, and then do this. This will allow uh, the town to uh, build the road across. Um, and I can also do that here for the same reason. Yeah, that's something that the... Um, the devs have a uh, plan for is uh, better water but right now you just lower the the ground and it gets rid of the water uh, yeah you can also raise the ground on top of water and it'll just sit there on top of the water uh, yeah okay well that uh, that will let the town uh, expand in there. Um, I think I need to do this as well, which will let that work. You know what? I'm just going to do this on account of because. Um, yeah, I, I said on account of because. Uh, so sue me. Right. Uh, so far, so good. Yep. So far, so good. Um, how is Charlestown doing? 1,828. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, where's my uh, Dewey? Uh, I need 85 million to uh, upgrade further. Okay, yeah, we're not at 85 million. Good. Um, okay. Oh, here's another patch of water that uh, looks like it uh, needs to go. Okay. So I'm just going to erase it. Yeah, uh, that's not good for environmental stuff, but you know what? Nothing cares about the environment in this game. So, you know, and it is something that really does happen. Um uh, places really do uh, uh, fill in water to build on. Yeah, I know. Uh, it's, uh, well, a radical concept, isn't it? Okay. Um... Right. Uh, okay, so that's going to be uh, a linkage in the roads. This can be as well when it gets around to building it. Yeah, okay. Well, Charlestown is uh, doing its thing. Uh, everything else is kind of doing its thing too. Well, am I uh, delivering this? Yes, I am. Right. 
So I got my glass works down here, which is uh, keeping up. Yep, that is keeping up. Uh, remember when I set this up and this was way outside of the town? <laughs> uh, okay. You are just taking along slowly accumulating the resources you need diesel engine is sucking up the resources okay well i'm going to up the tempo here and then we can observe uh, all the traffic whizzing about yeah traffic whizzing about that's about uh that's about what the game's about really and i just said about way too many times didn't i okay so Basically, uh, the plan here is to get the uh, research uh, sorted out all the way up to computing devices to get the windscreen. And once we get the windscreen, uh, then I'll probably uh, put the game on the shelf for a bit and uh, wait for the, uh, the next update from the developers. Uh, the next update is supposed to have passenger transport, and if that will work with an existing save game, I'll come back to this save game and uh, try and uh, uh, retrofit passenger transport into it. Uh, on the other hand, uh, if it doesn't work with the uh, existing save games, well, I'll uh, start a new one and uh, and see where we go, where we where I get with it. But yeah, it shouldn't be uh, too much of a, a problem, right? Uh, the, I just want to uh, get to the windscreen, which is quite a ways off yet. Uh, I still need to uh, get this uh, this uh, this uh, research done so I can build all of the uh, various uh, bits that will be needed for uh, uh, for the um, computing devices research, which is going to require, if I recall, it's going to require circuit boards, uh, glass cabinets with glass in it, uh, or maybe televisions uh radios maybe it requires a huge pile of stuff uh and that um that's going to take a moment to uh run through and it's something like 150 research iterations or something like that to do it so yeah it'll take a while to research and uh and that uh That'll just be a lot of waiting and busy work at that point. Um, anyway, uh, let's uh, let's go back down here and take a look. Yep, we're uh, we're okay there. Uh, let's go up here, where we have our uh, we're over here. That's okay. That's our copper production. And over here, we have our stone operations. Um, yeah. Coal, we're good. Iron, we're good. Yeah, like we should be able to, uh, to complete the uh, research without running out of any of our initial resource deposits. I say should, but uh, who knows. We're up to nine million in uh, in the bank. So, like, once you get to a certain point, uh, you don't need to worry about uh, cash, really. Uh, it's it's quite easy to uh, to make the money, um, and you'll notice that uh, I'm doing almost all my transport with trucks. Uh, see, uh, a lot of people that have trouble with the game, they start out with trains immediately, and I think that's where they end up going wrong. Uh, they start out with trains, which are much more expensive to run. And, you know, they're fine. Uh, I, I'm not knocking the uh, choice of trains, 
but they're not particularly great for direct delivery uh, to towns. Uh, as if we take a look here, the catchment, it, uh, it doesn't even bring, uh, reach any of these, right? Uh, and if we go down here, the catchment, um, yeah, we're not, uh, we're not getting full profit. Like the, we could bring stone in on the train and, uh, get full, full profits on it, but, uh, the others we don't, uh, and without level crossings, it's very difficult to get the stuff into the urban areas. Uh, once we have level crossings, uh, I'll probably uh, go away from this uh, elevated uh, rail thing that I that I'm I'm doing here. I, on another map that I've got uh, that I played for a while, which I may still have the save for. Maybe I'll bring it up at some point. I've got a massive. Uh, urban uh, agglomeration thing going on which uh yeah uh, which uh has uh rail lines crisscrossing it uh for uh raw resources right and uh, because the initial resource piles have exhausted and uh, all of that jazz right and they're all elevated at three or six uh voxels right and the reason I've done that is uh, so that the uh, road grid can do its uh, road grid thing without running into any particular trouble. And that uh, and that's allowed uh, my urban areas to get to like, uh, you know, like all of the towns to run into each other. And each of them has, you know, like 15 or 20,000 population or more. I mean, uh, you know, on that particular map, you know, all of these towns here would all be run together. Right? Um, anyway. Um, yeah. Uh, what's up here? Whole bunch of un wood frame. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, can we build wood frame? That is a question. Um, so I'd be doing it over here where I decided I set up my, uh, woodworking operation, right? Uh, so, um, a wood frame, uh, that would be a carpenter thing. Carpentry. No, it's a uh, factory. Carpentry. Yeah, okay. Well, let's uh let's just uh chuck one of those down and then take a look in here. Uh wood frame, we can produce wood frame and we can produce furniture. Okay. Well, in that case, uh I think probably uh next uh the project for next time uh will almost certainly be uh producing uh, wood frame yeah yeah that'll be the project next time I think um, well what I'm gonna do in the meantime is see if I can get a uh, get a uh, get a a crossroad here yeah that's the word I'm looking for uh, uh, right Okay, so I've got a road across there, uh, and I want a crossroad that comes in on the grid. Now, where, where would, what, 
lost. Why is it lost? Why can't it find its way there? Well, that doesn't make any sense. Oh. I see. Okay. Um, right. Uh, one, two. One, two. One, two. That should let it find its way now. Yeah, there we go. It had nowhere it could turn around. That was fun. Uh, okay. So, ah, uh, yeah. Bridges are all one piece. Um, uh, right. Okay. So, if we do this... So I've got a road there now. Get rid of the bridge. Yeah. So that gives me uh, a uh, point there that I can uh, work from. Right? Uh, okay. So now I'm going to go one, two, one, Two, one, two. Okay, that one comes out here. Does that? Uh, okay. So I think that lines up. Um, okay, does that line up? It does. Okay. There's my... Uh, grid uh, angle. Good. That gives me somewhere I can hang my construction on uh, without um, uh, messing up the grid. Right. Now, uh, in case you're wondering why I'm obsessed with that grid, it uh, it's one of the reasons that my uh, truck transport uh, operations are as uh, reliable as they are. Uh, and it's simply because um, the, uh, the, the, the connection uh, level of the grid means there's lots of uh, uh, opportunities for uh, the trucks to make their uh, make a, a direction, right? Um, okay, you know, I've got a stack of cash. I'm going to just uh, bring this in here and uh, see where we end up. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm going to... Yeah. I am going to get... Uh, get the uh, road under the uh, rails here. Uh, so that means I'm going to take those out and flatten this. Yeah. Yeah, see, this is... Uh, what you need to do to get the uh, the road uh, grid to work uh, when you don't have uh, uh, call it um, level crossings, right? So we'll do this, this, okay, and this can go all the way up to here. Yeah, you actually can get all the way down. Okay, can you? Uh, 
Uh, no, you can't. Okay, so that's too high. Okay. Okay, in that case, I will flatten this out. Okay. And then you can flatten out again. And I'll just put the road back. Okay, and then this one can go back. You can come down. And you can connect. Okay. Uh, so that gets a uh, connection point under the uh, uh, the tracks there. Uh, right. Um, and I'm going to also do this. Yeah. I'm just going to flatten this bit out. No, oh, because why not? Yeah, that too. Um, no, I'll leave that alone. Okay. Well, that gets me a uh, road out to where I'm going to build the uh, woodworking as well. So that um, that will allow uh, allow me to get uh, get stuck in uh, next time around. Now let's just check in on the research. 47 of 70, 34 of 55. So, okay, yeah, so the research is moving. Uh, anyway, uh, that is going to be where I put the cut in for uh, this time around. Um, we got the prep work done to build a woodwork uh, you know, area here, a uh, woodworking area. And uh, yeah. Uh, I think I'll bring the... Where's the wood? I think I will build a... Uh, tr maybe build a train connection to bring the wood in from up there. But maybe I'll just put put a mine in... Or a, a mine... Uh, a, a wood chopping operation in up here. And just collect the wood from there directly into the carpentry. Yeah. That's what I'll do, uh, I think. Anyway... Because then I can put it up here, put a, a warehouse, and I can just bring it in on conveyors. And then later, when it runs out, I can just set up a, a train depot there. Yeah, yeah, I think that's what I'll do. Okay. Anyway, that's going to be the uh, the end of, of this part. Uh, so uh, I'll be back, you know, next week, same time, with uh, the next part. Probably building a uh, carpentry operation. And... Uh, yeah, uh, that should be that should get a uh, fair chunk of everything uh, moving, and uh, we'll be that much closer to uh, computing devices. Anyway, uh, that's going to be all for this time. So uh, stay healthy. Don't let the ongoing apocalypse get you down too much, and see you back next time.